Hey, thanks for joining me today. This is Pastor Lafayette. We are in Psalm 95. It is, what day is it? It's Wednesday. Uh, the Lord is good to us. He's good to us. His mercy. When you woke up this morning, His mercy was fresh. Psalm 95, verse 1. Oh, come, let us sing to the Lord. Just let me stop there. But pastor, you don't know my life. You don't know the turmoil. You don't know what I've been going through. You don't know how hard this is for me. My kids, my, my husband, my wife, my job, my dog. You just don't know how hard this is for me. Come. Let us sing to the Lord. Oh, you don't get it, Pastor. It's, it's so hard for me. This is such a difficult time, such a difficult season in my life. If you only understood how difficult things were, how painful things were, if you only could get it, you don't even know what I'm going through. Come, let us sing to the Lord. Does God's value increase and decrease with your life struggles? Is he great when you're up and not so great when you're down? You placing so much value upon how well he takes care of you even when you don't take care of yourself. My friend, all I can tell you is this. Come. Come on. Let us sing to the Lord. Let us shout joyfully to the rock of our salvation. Let us come before his presence with thanksgiving. But pastor, there's nothing to be thankful for in my life. You're breathing. You're watching this or listening to this. The pastor, I'm through, going through so much. What can I thank God for? You've missed everything, haven't you? Because if that were truly your heart, you've not seen his miracles. You've not seen how he's handled things so far, how he's taken care of you, how he's kept you back. You've been blind. But how can I give him thanks when I'm going through things like I'm going through? Because he's working miracles. And our human eyes just haven't seen it. <clears throat> because he's faithful. And our human mind won't accept it. Because he is steady as a rock. And our feeble feet refuse to believe it. Let us come before his presence, verse 2, with thanksgiving. Let us shout joyfully to him with psalms. There's no joy in my life. You don't understand. I'm trying to tell you, Pastor, there's no, there's no joy. I don't have any. Then you have no strength. No, you're right. I, I don't have any strength. Don't have any joy. Don't have any strength. Yet the word says, the joy of the Lord is my strength. You want strength? Take joy in the Lord. Well, yeah, but you don't know. No, no, I'm not talking about taking joy in your situation or joy in the fact that uh, maybe your kids are messing up or something's going wrong at your workplace or that you're unemployed. Take joy in the Lord. And you'll find that he'll be your strength. This is such a simple thing. And we say, but there has to be more. There has to be more. That, uh, 
this can't be all. There's got to be more I can do. I mean, this just doesn't feel like it's enough. And we take things in back in our own hands and we don't do the simple things. That's why we fail. Because we're looking for the big ones, the hard stuff, the complicated answers. We forget the simplest answer. Sing to the Lord. Come on. Father, I pray this morning that you would bless those who hear. You are life. <laughs> and we give you glory. And we thank you, Father. We praise your name in spite of it all. You are even more glorious today than you were yesterday and absolutely certain you'll be more glorious tomorrow. Thank you, Father. Bless, touch, heal. In Jesus' name, amen. God bless you. Thanks for joining me today, and uh, we'll pick this up tomorrow. Bye-bye.